Kiwi. Wanted to talk a little bit about slippery roads, um, how to recognize them, and then some things that you can do to compensate. So whenever the temperature is below freezing, obviously, we're going to think about slippery roads. But you also want to think about what the weather conditions have been in that area. Like in northern Minnesota here, the ground freezes in the wintertime, so a lot of times the road is cold even though the day might be warm. You also want to think about uh, precipitation is the obvious thing. If it's snowing or ice, uh, freezing rain, any of that stuff obviously could create a slippery road. But sometimes just the frost from overnight, especially on a uh, below zero night, and especially thinking about bridge decks and things like that, they'll get slippery when there hasn't even been any precipitation. If the wind is up and it's blowing snow across a road, and especially if there's traffic passing, that snow can get packed down and become ice. Uh, some of the slipperiest roads I've ever seen were on bright sunny days. So watch out for those changing conditions. Any kind of shady conditions, if you're underneath trees, if you're underneath uh, bridges, like if there's an overpass, it's quite likely that there's gonna be slippery area underneath there and it could just be 50 feet of road that's slippery and then you're back to dry conditions again so watch out for those changing conditions things to look out for with your truck you want to avoid the use of engine brakes when it's really icy the, the braking force of the engine brakes only goes to the drive wheels so if you use your service brakes you're distributing that braking force to all 18 wheels on the truck if you um, you want to avoid the use of cruise control when it's cold out because the power can be added in such a way that it'll cause the tires to slip when you got cruise control on. Watch out for high traffic areas and watch out for intersections. Coming up to like a stop sign or a stoplight, for example, where people have been braking, a lot of times that road is going to be polished up and slippery, so you got to drive a little slower, slow down early, and be gentle with your brakes. So as far as your actual road condition your, itself, you want to look for any signs of shininess, glossiness, you know, obviously an icy surface is going to be shiny. And then if you have other traffic around you, you can look at the tires on that other traffic to see if they're throwing up spray. If it's an icy surface, then that spray will go away. If it's wet, then the tires will be throwing spray. Sometimes you can even look in the mirror and look at your own drive tires and be able to see where your trailer tires see if there's any spray. If you're in a situation where you're looking for traction, consider whether your truck is loaded or empty. That's going to make it have a lot different traction. And also, if a road has polished up wheel tracks on it where the traffic has been, consider moving over so that you're out of those wheel tracks and then you might have bigger, better traction underneath your tires. So keep in mind those conditions can change within just a, a, an instant sometimes. So you got to be looking carefully and staying on top of it, staying paying attention while you're driving.